Enjoy watching. Shocking facts about dreams. Everyone sees dreams, even those who think they can't see. Exceptions are people with severe mental disorders. Scientists conducting research on dreams came to a very interesting conclusion. They found that only smart people remember dreams. This conclusion was made after a study of more than 2,000 people. The majority of people surveyed say they do not see or remember dreams. 90% of dreams are forgotten. Within 5 minutes after waking up, 50 of sleep is forgotten. Within 10 minutes 90% perhaps sometimes this causes uncertainty. Wow! It seems that the process of fixing events in memory during sleep is disabled. For those who claim that they do not dream, this blockage is more complete than for others. According to Plato, dreams originate in the organs located in the abdomen. He believed that the liver is the biological source of most dreams. People who grew up on black and white television see mostly black and white dreams. Most of us dream every 90 minutes, and the longest dreams 30 minus 45 minutes happen in the morning. Dreams can be controlled with proper practice. You can arrange dream series for yourself, Return to the place where the dream was interrupted last night. Wow! Nightmares are normal. They are seen by all people in all cultures. Most of the nightmares we see in childhood, their number decreases with age. The feeling of falling in a dream usually happens at the beginning of the night, in the first stage of sleep. Even the faint light from digital clock numbers can make you sleepy. The fact is that the light turns off the nerve switch that is responsible for falling asleep. Because of this, the level of the sleep hormone drops sharply in a few minutes. The pre-sleep stage is similar to meditation as the body prepares for sleep. It relaxes. This applies not only to all processes occurring inside it, but also to the brain. You cannot snore and dream at the same time. People only snore during non-REM sleep. During this phase they do not dream. And a little about the dangers of snoring. Ten of those who snore suffer from choking in their sleep. These people stop breathing up to 300 times a night, which dramatically increases the risk of heart disease. Most often, dreams show negative rather than positive emotions. The most popular emotional state in dreams is anxiety. Rarely remember dreams or do not remember at all people who tend not to notice or ignore what may cause them anxiety, although the problem if any is not solved by this. In a dream, many discoveries were made and great things were invented. Mendeleev in a dream saw a table of chemical elements, Paul McCartney the song yesterday. Animals also dream. From an evolutionary point of view, the dreaming stage of REM sleep is the last stage of development that can be found in the human body, as well as in other warm-blooded mammals and birds. Flights in a dream most often try to explain this to us as the reasons for physical growth. If you fly, then you grow. But is it? Ethologists have come to the conclusion that the flights that we make in a dream are connected with the fact that the most ancient genetic program is manifested, which is recorded in the memory of a person. Flights in a dream have been known since ancient times, when no one suspected that an airplane would ever be invented. Flying in a dream can express both our hopes and life's fears. Children under the age of three are not able to see themselves in a dream. The biological clock does not reset. Our biological clock is always accurate. One sleep-wake cycle lasts 24 minus 25 hours. Dreams prevent psychosis. Sleep is a rehearsal scientists are increasingly leaning toward the idea at the biological significance of sleep is to ensure the survival of the species, be it rat or human. In dreams, we train ourselves to avoid danger. It seems that this is what dreams with threatening content are for. For example, swimming across a river or running away from a dangerous animal. But thanks to a special state in sleep, in which our muscles are almost immobilized. All this rehearsal takes place at the level of the brain. Thus, we learn ways to save our lives in a dream so that someday we can use them in real life. Once upon a time, we humans foraged mountains high and valleys low in order to appease our rumbling tummies. These days, all we need worry about this scavenging the aisles of Walmart, and while that can be just as wild at times, you can bet that all the food in grocery store is saved to eat, right? Well, uh, 
Let's just say that this video will give you a lot of food for thought. Take this for example. Have you ever noticed a weird wild spot on your banana? Well, I sincerely hope not, as the truth about this white spot, and the other horrifying food-based revelations we have got in store, will truly make your skin crawl. So what are these strange little mounds, and why should you be concerned? Well, these little white growths are actually the nests of spiders, and not just any spider, the Brazilian wandering spider, Aka the world's most venomous. Their bite is so toxic that it instantly attacks the nervous system, causing nausea, blurred vision, excruciating pain, and ultimately, death. Rarely will you find them outside of their South American homeland, but due to their love of hiding in dark, moist places, they occasionally smuggle themselves between bananas, where they make the journeys from the tropical regions they're harvested into your local grocery store and eventually, your home. In fact, in 2013, a British family had to evacuate their London home as dozens of the deadly spiders sprouted from their bananas. 29-year-old Concy Taylor was midway through eating a banana when she spotted a suspicious white spot on the fruit. Mold, she initially assumed, but on closer inspection, she was horrified to see tiny spiders dropping out onto the table and scurrying around. The tailor fled to safely and had their home fumigated of these deadly spiderlings. Luckily, even in their natural habitat, only one in 500 spiderlings of this species make it to adulthood, and their fangs aren't strong enough to pierce human flesh until the mature, meaning any real danger was fairly unlikely. Still, I don't think L had have peace of mind until I knew each and every one of the little eight-legged lurkers were disposed of. Okay, so finding a nest of baby spiders is scary, sure. But imagine finding a more developed Brazilian wandering spider along for the journey. Well, this horror story became a reality for a Staten Island family in 2016, as they returned from the grocery store with a little more than they had bargained for. I'll let you see for yourself. If that were me, then let's just say this spider would be very flat and stuck on the bottom of my shoe. The breed of this grizzly spider is unconfirmed, though being from South America, it's likely one of those venomous Brazilian wandering spiders, seemingly the only one of its brood that reached adolescence in its little egg sac apartment. Considering the bite from one of these can ultimately lead to death, the only rational choice here would be to burn the banana and the house along with it, for good measure. And that's all the time we have for today, folks. If of this fact left you particularly grossed out, then let me know down in the comments and share your own if you have any. And as always, thanks for watching.